Hi Capricorns, this is your first month reading from June 1st to the 15th. I hope everyone is doing well. If this resonates with you, please like, subscribe, share, comment. If it doesn't, check your moon and rising. You could be in that energy as well. Um, just a reminder, these are general readings, so just take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay, sorry, I'm just um, feeling what I'm feeling for you, Cap. Just give me a moment. I don't know, I'm just getting this energy or this kind of certain situation that there might be this uh, group or association or, or um, thing that maybe we've associated with in the past that's not really connecting um with us anymore um i have the three of cups kind of starting out here which is kind of a card of um socializing um friends you know having fun um groups of people coming together but it's interesting because it's followed by the world card in reverse and when the world is in reverse it means that we are not ending a cycle or um feel like we're kind of going around and around in circles and feeling um something is not complete here followed by the eight of cups as well which is energy of kind of leaving a situation behind or walking away um and that's why i'm just feeling this maybe um maybe you're finding this kind of social circle or this group you're part of isn't really kind of vibing with you anymore um and you're feeling like maybe kind of leaving it behind here you feel like it's not really um i don't know what your energy wants um it's interesting because the three of cups is upright, which is a good, which is which is kind of um, good energy, celebration energy, fun energy um, here. But yeah, again, I just see you kind of walking away from this. We have the magician coming out right after here as well. A magician represents uh, manifestation. So it, it represents being basically with the magician. It's like what you want to create. You understand that you have all the tools, that you are the alchemist of your life here. Um, and you kind of have the ability to create um, the world that you would like or the world that you would need here. Um, maybe you're kind of searching for a, a certain new type of group of people. Again, that doesn't mean leaving the other ones behind, but maybe you're just kind of like, I want to explore more. Maybe you want to make more friends worldwide. That's why kind of um, this kind of world card might be popping out as well. You might be thinking more on a global scale, um, how you want to make friends or um, associate in new groups that are outside of your community community. Um, again, it doesn't mean that these people are being left behind. It just kind of means that um, maybe we're looking for something a little bit more, um, looking to explore a little bit as well. The magician is just saying that you have the manifestation powers right now. You are the alchemist of your own life, Capricorn, and you have the ability to kind of do that. Um, getting this energy of just wanting to level up or just, um, it's, it's weird because it's, it's just the energy of um, wanting to kind of maybe level up in the sense of, I know it's Capricorn, so sometimes it's always kind of strategic, but I think you're just kind of, uh, it's feeling like a curiosity. It's feeling like, um, you know, what else is there? Who else is there? What else, you know, um, what other kind of groups or associations can I be a part of? It feels like this kind of explorative energy here as well. I have the five of cups and I have the ace uh, or sorry the five of cups and I have the ace of pentacles in reverse um some of you might be leaving a job behind quitting a job or losing a job um I know that's pretty intense energy here I just want to kind of get more on this reading kind of what the outcome of this kind of loss of job might be and again that's not for everyone this could be maybe not getting a promotion that you wanted um it could be energy of just being sad because you really wanted this maybe new job. You thought it was going to change things and, and we didn't get it. And you're just kind of disappointed with that. I see some kind of um, disappointment in where a, a new financial opportunity was here. Um, again, or maybe it's your current job that unfortunately that you have lost your job um, and you're kind of unsure where to go to next or, or what to do next. Let me just kind of see more on this kind of job option that's over here, Page of Cups server.
for some of you, you were kind of hoping that it was going to kind of be this kind of emotionally fulfilling thing, um, or kind of be, um, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just getting this kind of, um, I'm just kind of getting this disappointment but about something, um, I'm just feeling what I'm feeling. I'm just kind of getting to the feeling of disappointment. Um, and I don't know if that's because of not getting something um, disappointed or disappointed because something didn't work out for you in the sense that you already had it and then it kind of fell through here. But this Page of Cups in Reverse is just um, saying that it's not kind of emotionally giving anything to you in a way or you're feeling like it's uh, emotional over. You didn't think of what it was going to be here. Again, we have the Seven of Pentacles popping out, so I wouldn't stress too much um, about that. I would just kind of um, really turn the energy away from like shame and guilt, uh, whatever that is here on yourself and just kind of look at what you do have here. You know, look at these uh, pentacles to say, you know what, I'm proud of my work that I do. I'm proud of what I put out there. And even if something, someone doesn't really agree with me here on that, that's okay. Um, because I'm still kind of doing me and I'm proud of the work that I've done. And I see the, and admire my kind of work ethic and what I kind of do here. And if you don't admire it, then that's kind of your own bad. And that's exactly with the Five of Cups here as well. We're just looking at this situation. We're not looking at these two other cups that we do have um, still standing here. And that might be some of this energy of walking away um, here as well. Uh, that's kind of popping up. I don't know. Yeah, I'm getting this energy of just kind of being over something. Some kind of certain current cycle um, here. We have Cups in Reverse. Double and reversed. Knight of Cups in reversed. Just kind of like breakup energy or, or, or kind of separation energy or again like I said before kind of like the page as well but it's like the next level up where someone um, maybe some relationship um, or some kind of mad the heart didn't fall through but it's interesting we have some error and judgment about this. Um, and when the judgment cards are reverse, it means we're making a huge error in judgment of a situation. And I feel like this might be of a situation um, here for you, Capricorn, because I feel like some kind of toxic component was a part of all of this, maybe part of this job or this new beginning for you. And the devil in reverse means that we are releasing kind of these old chains that have been holding us down. And I feel like it might have to do with this world energy in the cycle that we kind of permanently have been in. Um, kind of going around in a loop here. And it's interesting that it has to do with maybe, again, um, some of you can do with partying or like social circle in some kind of way. Um, maybe a group of friends that were um, not for our not for our own good, but in general, just maybe, um, you know, allowed us to um, be in our vices a little bit more, allowed us to kind of, um, to, um, kind of keep us, not keep us down, but I, I guess fuel us in a way um, here. But I feel like this kind of, everything that is happening right now is feels destined, it feels like um, uh, on purpose uh, is the energy that I'm kind of getting here. So I want you to kind of look at this situation and I know it's really hard, especially when it has to do with livelihood and finances and things like that. I just really want you to look at the perspective and be like, kind of what else is out there? You know, what else can I accomplish? What else can I kind of do here? And even when those kind of negative thoughts come into your head, just kind of spin it and think about the kind of the positive way to do that. And I know that's really fucking hard to do and it's not fun. Um, feel what you're feeling but again I just feel with this devil energy here it's just this kind of releasing that needs to happen um, that we are going to kind of release here something is kind of releasing from us and I think it's releasing on a purpose um, their cap whether it's um, get like I saying a job a lifestyle change something that kind of needs to happen here four of pentacles the universe is trying to bring you something else here but we're still looking at this situation at these cups and it's the same cups that we've looking at and the five of cups that have fallen here we're still looking at those cups and we're not being open to kind of again like i was saying before what else is out there what else is there for us what is the universe trying to bring in because we're so uber focused on maybe the things that aren't working out for us right now or the cycles that we feel kind of trapped in 
I really honestly feel like something, uh, what's happening right now, even though it's hard and hurtful, um, it feels like a blessing in the long run. So kind of just look at it maybe like that. And again, and those are things that are not <laughs> easy to do. I know. Page of Swords reversed. Is this Page of Swords reversed? So the Page of Swords reversed, I have the Knight of Wands upright, I have the Two of Pentacles, and I have the Hermit in reversed. Page of Swords means, um, in reverse means someone's not coming to talk. There's someone that wants to maybe talk to you about something here, um, someone who's maybe just watching you online, seeing kind of what you're doing, maybe watching stories, uh, maybe this had to be be involved with the situation here as well but when the page is kind of in reverse like that it means like someone holding back communication or coming holding back from coming to talk to you here you have the knight of wands coming in right after so they could be an air sign they could be a fire sign um, that wants to say something to you um, this person it could be pretty um, passionate they have a lot of drive in them uh, the knight of wands is upright so again um, this energy is kind of um, you know, this person has, uh, is creative, they have a lot of passion, they have a lot of fire, they have a lot of drive. For some of you, this could be someone that's an admirer or someone that is um, liking you or loving you here. Um, but we also have the two of pentacles coming up, so there's some choice here involved, especially with our finances. There might be some balancing out or um, choosing two different kind of avenues, um, maybe with our money or with our spending here. I know especially if there's a situation um, where you might be feeling like you're losing a job or um, losing some income and you're kind of uh, maybe deciding how to uh, what you want to spend your money on or how to kind of um, tighten the purse strings here um, or wallet strings whatever the you know who, who fucking cares but whatever that is um, here and you might be kind of deciding on money I do have the hermit card in reverse which means we might be spending too much time by ourselves here and um, so again um, maybe do the activities or things um, here that kind of save money without isolating ourselves. Maybe um, if there are some free events in the neighborhood or just go for a walk with a friend or go to the beach. Um, that might be something that might be coming up in these kind of two weeks for you here as well. Um, again, if you are single at the bottom row here, maybe this is kind of a new admirer that's kind of watching you and you're kind of weighing out the options of um, not knowing or, or maybe they're not knowing what they should kind of do in this situation but with the hermit in reverse virgo energy here again it's just saying just don't isolate yourself too much uh, in this energy and also that could be the kind of the three of cups that is coming up before you capricorn here as well it's maybe kind of doing that kind of free stuff with friends So I have the Ace of Cups in the reversed, I have Three of Wands in the reversed, and I have the King of Swords in reversed. Ace of Cups is kind of like, uh, it can be breakup energy, it can be um, energy of just not feeling emotionally fulfilled or having a new emotional beginning here. Uh, three of Wands in reversed means kind of going back to the drawing board or time to regroup or time to replan things. So you might be feeling something here. Um, where you're not feeling like emotionally fulfilled anymore or you're feeling like hey maybe it's time to kind of um re go back to the drawing board kind of um you know rework re-strategize um here it might have to do with an air sign aquarius libra um gemini because we do have the king of swords in the reverse here um we do have that energy of that air sign as well this is not someone that you're in a relationship with um maybe this is just someone that you are dealing with a boss a friend um here this person could be a little bit more cut off like emotionally cut off or um I don't know, I'm getting cold. Uh, the King of Swords in Reverse is kind of like cold energy here as well. Um, so you might be f just feeling that like some kind of emotion with this person is kind of gone or um, recently has been 
distant in some capacity. Um, and maybe, you know, exactly, the choice is up to you if you or what you want to do here. But I do see like a reworking involved where like something needs to be either re reworked or we need to go back and kind of um, figure out what this problem is here. Um, for some of you, again, you might choose to end a relationship or you might just go back and be like, okay, we got to kind of work on something here. Um, build something here as well. I'm going to pull some oracle cards for you, uh, Capricorn, just to kind of clarify all of this. All right. So the energy oracle we got this week was adjacent possibilities. When this card is reversed, Jason Possibilities cards is warning you careful not to miss an unknown opportunity because you're too married to your agenda. That's this right here, right? This is this cup energy of missing these cups because we are so focused on everything else here. We're not seeing the other options. It's also asking you to turn inward with a willingness to shake up your old unhealthy patterns and inner habits. The power of your life force moves through you uh, moves through your deeply held habits, projecting your energy out into the universe and calling it back as a result. In this way, your ongoing thoughts and beliefs are really your defining moments. In every next moment, you have another energetic choice. So it's time to decide. Are you going to let worry and self-doubt uh, define you? Or are you going to step into the ever-present adjacent possibility of optimism, trust, and self-love? And that's what we were talking about here again switching kind of especially in the top here when these kind of maybe negative things are happening um, how can we kind of readjust and see what kind of positive we can bring in from it no matter how stuck you feel you always have options and the thousands of choices you make every day all right we also have star bathing here light body crystal grid transmission activation the stars are, con uh, are constantly showering emanations onto the crystal grid of the Earth. When things are in balance, the planet also sends information back to the stars. Many star seeds have come to Earth at this time to help shift the planet vibrationally, to activate the ancient codes of wisdom that humanity has forgotten, and all that information is stored in the crystal grid. If you pull this card, you may be being called to begin working with the stars in the crystalline grid of Earth. Some people believe that the crystalline grid of Earth anchors divine cosmic frequencies onto the planet. You may have been guided to a journey to a particular place on Earth to unlock these cosmic codes with your presence. Um, maybe this is kind of the energy that's talking about kind of around the world as well. You may be interested in the practice called star bathing. This card commonly arises because you're here to connect with the crystalline grid of Earth, either in your hometown or by traveling to other places without quite knowing why. It could also mean that your light body, your body in its highest form, is being activated. If this resonates, take things extra slow in order to integrate the change of vibration. All right, Capricorns, that was your first of uh, June reading. Take care of yourself, and I hope you are well.